Hey guys, welcome to episode number 64. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday, and I wanted to do something um, not project related today, but actually um, some, something to do with the, uh, the turtle hobby. Um, now that I have a male and a female um, Diamondback Terrapin, I wanted to uh, just talk about them uh, individually and also together uh, to, to compare and contrast um, different different traits with them, um, which which help you determine uh, the sex of, of, of the animal. Um, now the one in my left hand here is uh, Speedy. He's uh, my male, and uh, then the one on the right here is uh, Big Mama. Uh, she's the female that I got yesterday. You can see that uh, they're roughly the same size, and I'm just gonna take one of them right now just so it's easier to, to handle. And uh, what people recommend for diamondback terrapins at least, for sexing diamondback terrapins, is that they be at least four inches in shell length. And you can see she's just over four inches in shell length. And the same with Speedy. Um, uh, sometimes you can tell a little bit earlier, maybe three, three and a half inches. It, it, it just kinda um, goes from, from turtle to turtle. Um, but uh, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for uh, around a year old, uh, around uh, four inches in shell length. And uh, the first thing, the most obvious thing you're going to notice is the difference in, oh, they're really going to make this difficult, uh, the, the tail size. Uh, so Speedy here on the left, you can definitely see his tail in comparison with uh, Big Mama. Uh, his tail is dropped. Um, it's like three or four times the size of uh, Big Mama's tail. And uh, that's going to be your primary um, way to tell um, which one is, is a male and a female. Uh, but um, one thing that I noticed, which is actually pretty cool, is uh, another difference. It's a little more subtle, um, but it, it really does give uh, the males and, and females... Um, a completely different look to them uh, when, when you're looking at them head on and that is the the, the shape of their head so Speedy's here on the left uh, you can see his head is uh, more or less torpedo shaped um, it's very long and narrow and uh, when you're looking at him straight on, um, it's it's got a very torpedo-like shape. Now you can compare that to Big Mama, um, who, when when you look straight on, uh, her head is much more boxy looking. Uh, it it's not quite as as narrow and streamlined. Uh, it's it's actually uh, more rounded. And, uh, and and more and more square in, in in overall shape. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's very apparent when you're looking at them close up, um, head on, which one is a male and which one is a female. And I, I find that kind of fascinating. So here they are kind of together. And uh, I don't know if you can pick up on, on that difference um, from Speedy on the left here to uh, Big Mama on the right in uh, in the shape of their shape of their head but it's definitely there and it's definitely something that I recognized immediately once I put Speedy and, and Big Mama together and it's uh, one of those things that um, you can uh, look for uh, in, in your terrapins uh, to try to help determine uh, which one's the male and the female again obviously the tail size is going to be the primary indicator, um, but also that that head shape is uh, is also another interesting uh, indicator. So uh, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Just a quick little update. There, that's that's a pretty good view right there from that angle. Um, I'm going to put these guys back in the water because they definitely want to head to sleep. Um, just a, a quick update on Big Mama. Her nose is uh, a little bit better today. Um, I don't see any signs of infection, and uh, she's definitely eating uh, and swimming around just like a, a happy, healthy uh, turtle here. So uh, I think 
I think she'll be okay. But that's all I've got for right now. Um, I'm going to go put these guys back in the water, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.